Hey, what's going on guys? It's Beginnings here. Today, we're going to be playing some Xenial Support with Errol Jungle. Uh, it's a pretty cool combo Zane and I found the other night while we were playing some ranked. It was about uh, midnight at this point. It was pretty late and I was talking about how I needed a video and we kind of just came up with this idea on the fly. It ended up turning out really fun and uh, it was super satisfying. Uh, Errol, if you didn't know, gets a lot of healing from his first ability. Um, he basically applies lifesteal to his big ol' axe, um, and he becomes almost unkillable uh, if he gets ahead. That, on top of uh, Xenio ult, uh, plus uh, the shield from the support item, and heal, it is insane. Uh, it was, like, you'll see there are some insane situations. So at level 1, we see their Lumber is walking up, uh, and Violet does show up. Unfortunately, um, the Fennec does soak our jungler's XP, so he does not hit level 2. Uh, Zephys comes straight down after doing his blue buff, which means that his clear is even going to be even worse than our jungler's. And uh, the Lumber goes ahead and dies as well. You can see Zephys is still here for some reason. Very stupid of him. Honestly, he's going to be taking lots of damage. In fact, we will even get the kill on him. Uh, so that means that his first clear is terrible at this point. It is awful. I couldn't chase down the two ones, so I just jumped onto the Violet. Got a little bit of poke damage onto her. Both junglers at this point have died. This is a really weird spot to be in, especially as a support. Uh, our entire early game rotations are just thrown out the window, basically. I, at this point, I'm just trying to be as annoying as I possibly can. Uh, this Richter does think that he is going to kill me, but I debate him very hard. He doesn't achieve anything. In fact, he literally just loses like half of his HP for free. In fact, a little bit more than half because the Amelie does rotate down. Um, I don't know why I pinged the Emily there. I, I I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Zephy's was on his red side, which means that uh, his red side is going to be spawning a little bit later. And that is an important thing to remember later on. Uh, right now, I really just want to hit level 4 as quickly as possible. You'll notice that I am soaking mid quite a bit. Uh, since Zephy's uh, was topside, we are going to start this dragon uh our my jungler does need to finish his red first so i'm just gonna kind of take it slow while we wait for him and once i see him coming over we can go ahead and finish it up zephys does show up because we do get the vision bird uh but he is not going to contest i his team really isn't in the place to contest anyways uh lumber is in a pretty awkward position so i'm just gonna kind of poke him out a little bit they do have four here so we really don't want to take a fight uh fennec is in a weird position where you really wouldn't be able to contribute to a fight. Lumber goes ahead and walks into me because he doesn't have very good map awareness, which is fine. Uh, I guess somehow I don't jump over that wall. I jump into it. Uh, and Lumber does take a lot of poke. Uh, Zephy's is bot side. I literally just saw him bot side. And I know his red is going to be up relatively soon. Um, <clears throat> right now, I am level 4, so I don't have to really babysit my jungler. I'm just going to try to annoy their jungler, especially so my jungler can get the uh, Sentinel. This is kind of where Xenial support is unique. Uh, my jungler does call out that they are contesting the Sentinel, so I'm going to go ahead and ult him. Uh, I don't really do much but get an assist there, and I hang out. Uh, hang around rather because Zane does say that their red is going to be up soon and I'm just going to go ahead and kill this uh, because I can. Zephys is dead, Richter is top, diving Amelie, Tulin showing mid, and Lumber definitely is not around. So I'll just go ahead and take this little free red buff. Pretty nice. Uh, not really going to be impactful onto me, but just taking it away from their jungler is good enough. Uh, gonna go ahead and trade out this lumber a little bit and I pat safely because I know that they can be camping that bush Especially since they have a Tulin and Tulin loves bush camping Just gonna go ahead and pat safely lumber wants to do something to this camp, but he's I, I don't know why he was so far forward by himself. He takes so much damage in return <clears throat> You can see I am buying the shield support item because I want to be 
the guardian angel. I'm going to go ahead and call this the guardian angel build. Uh, they jump onto Zane and I he ults. So he does dodge a lot of the damage. I'm going to go ahead and throw my ults down onto him after he lands. We do manage to get a kill onto the Zephys, which does suck for him. We could have gone for a blue actually, but we, I think maybe Zane got the blue from the Zephy, so he does call for Dragon instead. Yeah, we can see that their blue buff is not up because he just got it, which means that the red is going to be coming up relatively soon. I do know that as well because I have their red buff, and as soon as that disappears, I know that it's 20 seconds until it spawns. In fact, I actually remember saying that in voice chat. Uh, but we're not really on the side of the map to be able to contest the red, so I guess we will be giving it up. Right now, I'm just trying to prevent the Tulin from rotating down. Uh, you can see he is also trying to zone me for mid, but uh, he's not really achieving much by doing that. Sure, he'll get he'll be able to clear first and have priority on the next rotation, but my team is killing his team uh, in bot side. Uh, he wants to damage me, but with my big ol' shield, uh, he doesn't really do much damage at all. I'm just going to go ahead and clear those minions. Errol comes up, so I'll go ahead and give him the gold for the cannon minion. Uh, I don't want to walk into the left side of mid because I know Tulin is there. I know he didn't walk up because Amelie was on the other side, and we didn't have any vision of him walking up. Uh, I saw him walk into the bush, but... I, I don't know, he sat there for a little bit longer anyways, don't really know why. I contemplate throwing my ult onto the Fennec, but the, I see that he is fine, so I know I don't need to. Uh, at this point, I really just want to be saving my ult for our uh, Errol. He's really fed at this point, and we are duoing, uh, so I know that we can make some pretty fun plays happen. I'm just going to go ahead and let our Errol stack up on mid and clear this. Uh, Lumber does... Uh, use his ultimate on us, but he doesn't really achieve anything by it. I'm just going to go ahead and jump onto the Tulin and chunk him down a little bit. Uh, we will get a little bit of poke damage on the tower, and I see that Errol wants to dive in, and I start taking tower, so I have to walk out before I ult him. My, I, my ult lands, I pop my heal, and he jumps immediately up to full HP, and we turn that 3v4 pretty quickly. Uh, that was crazy, especially since it started under the tower. You can see he dropped to like 30% HP because his Hercules did pop and then immediately goes to full off of his lifesteal plus my ultimate and heal. It is it, it is such a satisfying combo to use. It might not be the best, but it is flashy and it's satisfying and that makes it a great YouTube video. I'm so glad I was recording this game. I almost didn't. Um, but you'll see that we do get quite a few of those plays this game. Uh, we do secure Dragon there, and I'm just going to go ahead and try to zone off this Tulin while we push up mid. I know we can get this tower as long as I can keep these pesky enemies away. Fennec does do quite a bit of damage to towers. Not so much anymore as he did before his changes, but it is still a nice chunk of damage off of his first ability. Just going to go ahead and tank up that uh, Tulin ultimate. Fennec somehow dies to a Tulin that doesn't have his ult. I'm guessing it's because he was just in a really bad position. Uh, my ult is up now, as you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and ping that for my team. But uh, the one person that it does matter for, my Errol, uh, he does know because we are in voice chat together. Um, not really much to do on the map right now, especially since Fennec died. We're not, we're going to have a hard time taking any towers and we will be at a disadvantage on the map. So we're just kind of taking it slow. My jungle is going to go ahead and clear his camps that he needs to. And <laughs> you see Tulin is, is pointing out how strong Errol is. Yeah, he, he is pretty strong when you build him full damage and with his annual, it makes him very, very, very hard to kill. Uh, I do see the Richter is coming up and I'm just going to go ahead and walk into the bush and my Errol is going in for a 1v4 so I go ahead and pop my ultimate on him. You see he does get the kill onto the Violet and dashes back into my ultimate for the heal and then we wipe three of the four of them with the Liliana coming in for the assist which is going to go ahead and hit this tower a little bit while my enemies are my allies rather are tanking and I'm going to pop my shield and dash up top so we can take this top tower as well. Uh, I think Fennec does end up getting the mid tower. Yes, you can see it is no longer on the map. We have all of their towers, but their high grounds at this point. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder for us to push high grounds, especially with this team comp. Uh, that's kind of where Fennec falls off. 
uh, it's a little bit risky for him to push high grounds. I could have saved this Emily here. In fact, I probably should have saved this Emily here. That was my bad. Uh, but I kind of wanted to save my combo pieces, uh, I guess you could say, for my Errol. Um, you know, flashy plays over saving teammates always, boys, especially when recording YouTube videos. <laughs> um, I, I started recalling because I was a little bit chunked out, and then um, tr tr uh, Richter, not Triumphs, I guess that is Triumphs, but Richter does walk into me, and they do use the tool and ult onto me, so I guess I have to go back now. My ult is ready, and I contemplate going back, but instead I just go ahead and ult my Rick, or my arrow rather. Richter does jump in, but he dies. Uh, my arrow gets a really good ult onto the tool, and we're just going to go ahead and smack him a little bit and pop our shield so he does take damage and he does die i'm going to push this wave uh because nobody else is uh it's i think they already cleared mid so they will be able to clear this top wave uh pretty easily fennec is ballsy as hell everyone's backed off but he wants to 1v4 that tower i'm just gonna wait a little bit to start tanking this dark slayer especially because it does a lot more damage now guys uh, with the new patch Dark Slayer does so much damage, especially with his AoE. It's insane. He takes like guaranteed half of your health every time you tank it. You can see I drop to half HP. So I just start my recall and uh, I know I can always ult back in. I am pre-buying my shield of the lost because that's the item that I want to build. Uh, and I see my arrow is going deep. I think about ulting him, but then I see that he really isn't in any trouble at all. The, the Zephy's allies just kind of leave him to die. Um, but this, this is where I want to ult my arrow. He is tanking tower. He's taking quite a bit of damage. I'm going to go ahead and drop in, pop my heal, pop my shield, and he immediately jumps up back to full HP, and we just steamroll them. Like, th all four of them just go poof. Uh, Richter comes in to try to clear the wave, but we do have the dragon and with four of us hitting the tower, we will be able to end the game. This game was so much fun to play. I'm going to call it like the airdrop combo or the guardian angel or something clever you guys are going to see uh, by the title. I can't wait to publish this video for you guys to see. I hope you guys had as much fun uh, watching this game and listening to my commentary as I did playing this game and to doing the commentary. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. See ya.